Hello everyone, this is Gorax and I know you are already done listening to me talking about Asketius, the endgame boss, but the boss is now over 50%, which means the difficulty has increased. Did it mean I did less damage with my teams? Not really. Well, I could see a drop of damage by 1 million or 2 million. The teams that I used on day 3 were all solid, all able to survive 8 minutes, with exception of 2 teams. However, one of those teams has been dropped completely and I used the new OP team. If you haven't seen that team, you can watch my previous video where I go over a team with only epic heroes doing over 250 million with a potential of doing over 350 million if you have proper heroes. It's not even about equipment, it's just heroes, especially one. But more about that in that specific video. We're gonna go about, we're gonna go and see the teams that I used and saved. I'm gonna go from the bottom, so my Rook team, nothing changed when it comes to equipment. Uh, we've done 215 million damage utilizing this equipment here. Skill timings are exactly the same as in previous fights. Very simple, 25-30 on Ogog, 31-30 on Calavera, but since she's the one taking the ultimate down, we can make her cast it whenever. Damage rotation starting with uh, Dargo at 11.8, then Whisk at 14.8, and finishing up with Rook at 15.2. Remember, since we don't have a good way of debuff immunity, there might be a slight delay between the damage dealers, so you might eventually end up manual in it. Second team, Perkunta Orphina combo doing over 200 million damage with Orphina using Poison of Swamp instead of the Lamp. If you don't have Lamp, this will make you happy as both of these artifacts are pretty much the same. When it comes to the timings, once again, 2330 on Fessa to grant us debuff immunity, Garius pretty much on auto and Ardrev at 14.5 and auto. Basically, auto on, the only reason why she's on auto is because we have 14.9. If you have less, you want that to happen at 15 seconds, okay? But since we have it on auto, we can go with 14 and a half, even with 14.7. This means that the boss ultimate will not do anything to her. And damage dealers Orfina is going auto as well. We want her to cast this ultimate as often as possible to build up stacks for Perkunter's ultimate. And this is why we're delaying Perkunter's ultimate by a couple seconds. Now, third team is the team that I was talking about, and I made a separate video for this team. We're gonna build this team around Belvernal, who will use this passive to de deal tremendous damage i'm even using gloves that i shouldn't because i don't have witches remains in this team so i need to change it tomorrow i'm also gonna change it with mifrasi instead of a uh, zarlov to give even more recovery over time and i will do another video of this type at the end at the last day showing you the final six teams that i've done but yeah if you want to look at the video going over this team the strategy and possible replacements Go and look at it. Make sure you follow this. This team is very random. It can do 30 million and it can do over 300 million. And if you're too lazy and want to see it, you saw the equipment already. And this is the basic timing. 24 for shield on um, Nathaniel, Zarlov, totally auto. And we have Bell here doing 20, 30. She can go auto as well. We don't need her ultimate. Uh, Joyce, Otto as well, we want to constantly build up this uh, clones and Ina, Anna, the most important 15 and a half to make sure the boss steals the recovery over time with his skill at 18 sec. Next team is my shadow team using Ozul, Perseus, uh, Astayan, Taldi and Gladros. Doing over 195 million, close to 200 as well. On the final day, I will create a video for each of this team going over the strategy and replacement um, in depth, really. As right now, we're just going quickly. And with Shadow Team, we don't build any timers except for our debuff immunity on GLaDOS at 23 and a half and 30 second rotation. Since I dismantled my Rally Team, I could use Mashtur 
in my uh, Dauntless team, making it a little bit more uh, stronger, basically, thanks to the survivability that Master provides over Rose. Rose was here to apply defense attack penalty, basically, and a little bit extra healing, but Master does it well as well uh, with his shield on the hero with the highest uh, crit damage and also provides a lot of debuffs making the boss uh stack his ultimate uh, stack his passive way slower the team is doing all solid over 190 million damage and we have nash tour similar to our drip on 15 second rotation despite it saying 17 second we have ultimate through his passive 14 and a half to avoid the ultimate down although he is the one taking it uh Asila here with debuff immunity at 23 and 30, and then our damage dealers, we don't care about Evelio's ultimate, so he can cast it whenever. Uh, we uh, we cast um, Farival's ultimate a little bit earlier before Nastienka, so we can get the defense penalty on, and then default, because they will desync eventually, uh, and we want them to cast these ultimates whenever. In the last team, Ice Blast team, I know some of you were um, surprised that your Ice Blast, team, Ice Blast team is doing 80 million damage when it was doing 140 like mine. I was still able to do 140 million. The thing I changed is I've put HP negative rune on my heroes to get them close to 50,000 HP as this helps. If you can still survive, you can always use Bladen's Aura or make sure your heroes have these runes, especially those ones who are dying, because Sheena doesn't die as easy as those two, so I didn't put that HP rune on her. Everything else is still the same, but if you still struggle, you can increase the skill haste on Feldosia here. And here are the timings. We're going to do uh, Fia at 8.5 every 15 seconds. This was uh, this will allow us to get the 23 second debuff immunity, and we have Felosia at 33 and a half. This is the ideal timing you want to cast this ultimate. She will be the one taking the ultimate down from the boss, so we need at least 18 seconds rotation here to pull that off, and this will prevent the boss control uh, being applied the knockback on the first skill. Since we removed, uh, since we reduced that first initial timing of uh, Fia at 8.5, we can run our damage dealers earlier, and this is the change that I've done as well, so this might improve your total damage. But yes, make sure you have enough HP, aim for 50,000 HP, with this team to be able to do 140 million damage back what, what, what you were doing uh, before 50%. And I think this is the only team that really suffers from this 50% uh, difficulty increase. However, overall, I don't feel that the difficulty has increased that much. I've done my highest damage up to date, and that's mainly because of this amazing cheat team with Bell here. Okay, so make sure you utilize that from day one. We are on day four, I believe, right now. So we're quite behind by you guys. Those are who are following us the next week. Make sure you follow this channel and you'll have all your teams sorted before you even start. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.